Well, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, we are here with another update, and you see behind me, look at the windows. Remember the security uh, bars that we had there? Well, we took them all off around the house, which makes it kind of like all the other homes here because it is a safe neighborhood. Look at this. So we took all the security stuff off the house, right? And I wanted to give you the update and the tour of what's going on with our rehab here. Now, we've done some math, we've done some numbers, we contacted our investor lender. Uh, they are running some math to see how we can keep this and cash flow it. Because the market is on fire, it's still rising. So I think we're gonna put this in our portfolio, keep this as an asset uh, for our future retirement and for our girls and their college fund. But uh, let's go take a tour. It's, it's getting pretty exciting. I'm excited, you might not be. Now, as I walk in here, you're probably gonna be thinking, Victor, nothing's really changed. Nothing's really changed here, but there's a lot has changed. Okay, a lot has changed. We got a lot of dirt, okay? But a lot has changed here. Once again, the room to the right, okay? It looks the same. It does, it looks the same, but the baseboards are gone. We have removed the baseboards, right? <gasps> Remember that closet? Remember this closet right here. Remember that closet with all the shelves? It is gone. We're just gonna make one simple closet here and that'll be done for this room. We do have the French doors here and we have some doors here on the side. So it's interesting, it's getting interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh oh, I see a saw, I see a saw. Now, when you see a saw, you get pretty excited because that means that there's tile being laid. There's tile being laid somewhere. But as you can see, the tile is not being laid on the floor here, okay? But there is a saw. There is a wet saw, which is very interesting. Very interesting, okay? Kitchen, still the same. Nothing's happened in the kitchen. Nothing's happened in the kitchen. Okay, look at it, man. Look at this. It's all dusty. Look at this. Oh, I don't think you've seen the stove. Let me move this drywall so you can see the stove. Now, one thing about buying a property like in the 80s or the 70s is classic. Classic. Look at this. Classic stove. And it's in mint condition. It's even got a clock. Look at this. Push to set, stop. It's got your push to set clock so you can bake. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Vintage, vintage, vintage. And it works. Anyways, back to the project, the wet saw. If you don't remember, we took down the wall we took down this wall right here. That's our thermostat in the corner, okay? But I wanna show you something. I wanna show you something. So we are in the room. Remember this room where we put the wall. This is the second bedroom. The master's on the other side. But remember this room had a fireplace, a huge fireplace, huge fireplace. <gasps> Uh-oh, where did it go? Where did it go? That's right, we took it out. But now we have a functional closet, which makes it a three bedroom instead of a two bedroom. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm excited. So yes, the fireplace used to be right here. Remember that big old fireplace? Well, we took it out, put a closet there, kept the wonderful wallpaper to sell it, and it's open. Look at this. That's a pretty big room for a second room. Now, don't forget the wall that we put right here to make it into a third bedroom. And we put insulation so you can cancel the noise. So you won't hear all the noise back and forth. Smart idea, cheap idea. So before I take you to the master bathroom and master bedroom, I wanna show you the guest. I'm I'm a little excited for this, a little excited. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Sneak peek, are you ready? Just trash, that's all we have is trash. We really don't have nothing to show. Oh, wait, 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 the light. Oh no, not that light. Wait, wait, and let there be light. 
Woo! Brand new tub. Uh oh, the tiles in. The tiles in. Look at that. What do you guys think about that? Pretty nice, huh? Pretty, pretty nice. Got the plumbing out. Look at that. Ooh, we got some tape. It's holding. Holding steady. Holding steady. I don't know about you, but I thought that was pretty exciting. I thought it was pretty exciting. Now we're in the master bedroom. Remember the wall? Bedroom number two is on that side, right? So look at, got the closet. Remember that big old hole we had? Well, we did that. We, we closed it out. We have a pretty good bedroom here. Very excited about this. Okay, so now let's take it to the master. The master bathroom. It's looking pretty hot, looking pretty hot. All right, so before I give you this awesome view of the master bathroom, our toilet is crooked. Yes, our toilet is crooked and we have the old light still. And we have electrical wires hanging out. <sighs> it's a hard job, but let's take a look at the master. You ready for the master? Let's go, let's go take a look. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What you think? This is pretty nice, huh? You like it? You like it? Tell me, come on, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you like it, you're probably like, hey, Victor, where's the shower head? Where's the shower head? I see the drain. <gasps> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm a little, little nutty. But what you think? Can you see yourself in this shower? Look at, standing right over the shower head, putting your stuff in that niche, taking a shower with all this space. Now, if you don't recall how small this master was, okay, the roof was like right here. I could touch it. Like, it was like right here to the door frame, just like right above. So we blew it up, boom, took it all out. Raise the ceiling, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. And now we're doing the tile. What do you guys think? What do you actually think about that? My wife, she's, my wife's fantastic. My wife is fantastic. All right, so building shit like this takes time, okay? Um, we've done some pretty good work. We've got the bathrooms done, all tiled, that's gotta dry. Okay, they're gonna grout that and then finish it up, but uh, I'm very excited. Uh, the fireplace is gone. It looks good. Little closet right there, right behind me. See that? Love it. They framed it in. Got the doors in. Uh, we're ready to bring the hopper in. Texture the hell out of this shit. Get that all taken care of. But let's go take a look outside because, you know, we took all the security um, features off this house. So it's going to look really nice. Then we're going to paint the outside. It's going to even look more fabulous. All right. So we're here in the backyard. Uh, backyard. If you didn't know or didn't see that, but we had uh, security bars all in these windows, which was kind of crazy. So back in the day, it was a feature like that, but we had to take them off. I mean, it's a real safe neighborhood. Uh, those are off. You can see the holes. Here, come right here. Come a little closer so you can see. See these holes? This is where the security iron window coverings were at, so we took them all off. But I mean, look at this yard. It's freaking huge, right? It's a huge yard. It's good space. Okay. This is what's gonna sell as well. It's gonna make us sell pretty good or bring us some good cash flow. I mean, once it's painted outside, it's gonna look fabulous, fabulous. My wife already has picked the colors, sent them to her contractor. But look at all that yard. He even has an RV gate. The renters are gonna have an RV gate. No HOA. Buy a college. Buy a college. Okay, so always remember location is key. Not always, you just gotta find the right spots and where to buy. So yes, as you can tell, we're excited about this one. Uh, roof's in good condition. Air conditioner's in good condition. Anybody want a couch? Come pick it up. Anybody want? A mattress you can come pick it up um, but everything is in good condition and we're gonna make this look nice except for that 
we're gonna have to fix that. That's a, that's a problem for us. So we're gonna get Carlos on that, try to find out a situation about that and make that look nicer. So to be honest, I'm pretty happy, pretty excited. New sliding doors coming in. Wife said that uh, they dropped it with the forklift. They broke it. So now they gotta order another one. So now we're on wait for the damn slider. Uh, but let me show you what we have in the garage. So as we open the garage, there it is. There it is. It's gonna go in pretty soon. We got the ceiling fans. We got all that other stuff, but I need to go get something from the truck, from the car, I mean, from the ride, from that beautiful ride right there. That is right for all the HP, HBLers, my beautiful infinity, that is right. <laughs> It's in great condition. Gotta drop off some uh, LED lights, recess lighting. All right, when you have a small house like this and the ceilings are kind of small, like kind of short, you wanna put some recess lighting in there so you don't have a lot of stuff hanging down, right? Those lights hanging down. So I'm gonna put this right where they can see it. Right where they can see it. I'll tell Carlos, Yo, man, Reese's lighting, Reese's lighting, we got it. So overall, pretty excited. I think there's some other stuff that can be done, but we'll take it. It's a win for this week. It's a win. So we need this one to be done pretty quick because the holding cost is going up. Paying that mortgage payment, paying that SRP bill, paying that water bill. And uh, the longer we hold, the lesser profit we make in the long run, whether you're selling or you're gonna keep it. But anyways, um, we're excited for it. This is a good one. Almost done. Nah, not even quite. I think hopefully by, what's your time frame? What do you think? I'm pushing for end of August. End of August, that's my time frame. End of August, we gotta get it done. So we got the baths done. We gotta get the baseboards done. They're gonna come and hopper the shit out of this, put this new texture on there. And then we gotta paint inside and out. We still gotta do the kitchen. I'm gonna ask them why they haven't started the kitchen. They need to, they need to paint these kitchen cabinets. We gotta put, we're putting granite counters, granite counters on this as well uh, to make it pop. And then uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we're gonna do, but uh, it's getting close. Okay, end of August is the date. I'll keep you guys informed. Once again, don't forget, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell to get notified once we drop the latest video. I mean, we're just bringing you some solid content like this. Okay, home buyer content, home seller content, the Phoenix real estate market updates. So you, you, my friend, can be mindful when you think about buying, selling, or investing in some real estate because we just keep it real here. We're just a family of four having some fun and I'm the only male here because I got nothing but girls. Yes. Yes. I get yelled at a lot. This is where they go for the real estate info. I'm here to lead and help you succeed. One, one thing that you'll learn about me is I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. To get the knowledge to the world when making decisions. And buying and selling real estate. Victor Huerta. Remember my name.